everyone. Welcome to my second Facebook Live event. I'm so excited that you're here, and I'm hoping that you're here because you want to learn how to do different types of writing in your classroom. So I'm going to show you one resource that you can take and use three or four different ways. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you want to find your writing prompts that you want to use. If you'd like, I can post the comment or post my link in the comments of what I've been using in my classroom. That way you guys can kind of keep track of it. And they're actually themed writing prompt cards for every month, which are great. So let me show you the first way and the way that I've been using them in my classroom um, with my special needs students. Um, and I've used them before when I taught in a charter school. So I use them with the lower elementary, with the upper elementary, um, across settings. So they're really great to use. The kids love them. Vibrant colors. I've just updated them. So let me show you the cards first. So once you download them, okay, you want to print them. I print them on cardstock and I laminate them and then I stick them on a binder ring, okay? So I know that keeping these cards together, because they're kind of like task cards, you could put them in a box too, but keeping these cards together, especially for some of my friends, is difficult. Um, you know, we want to fling them around sometimes or if we want to flip through them. A binder ring is the great way to keep them all together. And what I do is I put them in order of how I'm going to use them. So um, this is the one you're going to see most prominently throughout this presentation. Okay, so summer vacation is over and it's not over yet, I promise you. But where did summer go? So kids are going to write about where they think their summer went. Now there are some cards in here in August's bundle, so you're going to write about summer, they're themed, okay, so you're also going to write about um, going back to school, so um, write a story titled The Best School Year Ever, and each card has clip art that correlates with the, um, you know, what the prompt is about. Then there are also cards that go along with the holidays. Now we all know August is the only month of the year that doesn't have any like major holidays in it. So I've gone ahead and done like National Ice Cream Sandwich um, Day. So kids can write about that. Um, and then talking about the Declaration of Independence, different events that have happened in August. But the one we're gonna focus on now is this one. Okay, so this is the first way that you can use these writing prompt cards. You can use them in centers, put them in centers. Um, if you wanted to just um, copy them and send them home with kids to do, you could do that too, have them staple the prompt to paper. There are so many ways for you to use just these prompt cards on your own. Now, I'm gonna show you the one way that I'm super excited to use these in my classroom next year. And all that you need is a composition book or a classroom notebook. If you keep one notebook for all of your kids, um, that's fine too, a notebook, however you wanna use it. I'm gonna say that I'm gonna use, my, each of my kids is gonna have their own writing notebook. So you need one of these, and then you're just going to print out the cover, okay? I printed it on pretty paper, orange, my August writing notebook, and you're going to either glue it or tape it, um, or if you're gonna have one notebook for the whole year, tape it on a page inside, um, or glue it however you want your kids to do it. It's super versatile. So I'm gonna put it on the front, because this is going to be my August writing notebook, okay? So then, this is the best part, and I'm so excited. You also are going to need Avery labels, so the 8163, so they're the two inches by the four inches. Now, I purchased these at Walmart. Um, I got 10, I think there's 10 sheets for 444 plus tax. Um, I just checked Amazon before we went live, and you can get a pack of 250 stickers for like $7. It was like $6.93. So that's definitely the way to go and it's prime. Um, so you get free two day shipping if you're a prime member. So you get way more than what you would get at Walmart. You get 250 instead of just 10 sheets. Okay. So you're going to want to purchase these. You're going to download the Avery labels that are within the bundle and then you're going to print them. Okay. So there's two ways to print. I made it easy for you because I know some of you have like an odd number of kids. Not everybody has like 10 kids or 20 kids or 30 kids, right? You can only fit 10 on a sheet. So I printed them this way. Okay, so you can print them the same prompt on all of them or you can print them this way. There's one of each prompt on the page. So that's great if you're going to use all of them and it's also great if you have like 23 kids. So you could print two sheets of the full prompt and then three sheets of this and then you don't have all those extra prompts, right? So I went ahead and I took the top sticker here and put it in my notebook. Guys, this is so easy and kids love stickers. I love stickers. So when I thought of this, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited to share this with you. You literally just put the sticker in the notebook. 
So you're putting your sticker in the notebook and then you're just gonna have them right, right here, right at the bottom. Then the next day, or maybe you want them to catch up, they were absent, and have another writing prompt. I'm gonna take the next sticker, okay? And you can use them in any order that you want. I'm just using them in the order they printed. Stick it at the top on the next page so you can um, either do front back or they can start it where they ended off on the other page and literally just have them write. Guys, it's so awesome. These stickers are amazing. They're such a game changer, okay? And no cutting or gluing. Yes, Stephanie, no cutting or gluing, which is the best thing ever. With the writing prompt cards, you're gonna have to cut them and laminate them. And while they look great and they're perfect on this binder ring, no cutting and gluing, easy prep. You literally just have to print and go. No prep for you at all, okay? And there's 32 different writing prompts for August that are included in the August bundle. So you literally have prompts for the entire month of August. Even if you start, you know, um, wherever you start in August, you can always use them up for free writing because there's some that aren't necessarily just for August, like the summer ones, the back to school ones. You could use those in September too, okay? The last way I'm gonna show you is one way that you can meet your technology standards in your classroom in your writing lesson, okay? So what you're going to do, there's actually two ways that you can use this and I thought of the second way this morning and I was like, yes, that's awesome. Can't wait to see. You wanna see the front of my journal, here you go. And again, you can use this on the inside, I didn't do here. I mean, you could put it here and then each month um, when you start September's, put September's and then the kids can start their September prompts too. So um, it's a great way to keep all of it in one place and then you know, they know that that's their writing, bin writing binder. So I'm gonna flip you around here really fast and show you the next, the third and final way that you can use these writing prompts in your classroom, but these ones meet your technology standards. Okay, so I'm gonna step back a little bit and just kind of show you. But, so we all have a projector, right, in our classroom. We all have, some of you are lucky enough to have one of the interactive whiteboards, a Promethean board, a smart board, um, whatever version of that you have. These, you can project them right onto your smart board, okay? So I just did it onto my computer because I'm obviously at home. I don't have a smart board in my classroom, unfortunately, but I do have a projector and I could project the full size writing prompt cards onto the front board. There's two ways you could have kids answer this. You could do it, um, they could have independent work at their desks and they could write in their notebooks. Or if you like um, post-it notes, you could give kids some post-it notes and just kind of have them write some notes on there and you could have all the kids when they're finished writing on their post-it notes, just go stick it up on the whiteboard and you guys could do a collaborative writing response to the same prompt. Oops, sorry, I put my hand over that there for a minute. And then another way to meet your technology standards is if you have um, a writing center and you have classroom iPads, you could upload the PDF and have the, the, the writing prompt full-size card right there on the iPad, okay? So kids can write it, um, use the iPad, they can use the stickers. You can use all three or four of these ways together, but there are four different ways actually. Instead of three, there's four different ways that you could use these writing prompt cards in your classroom. And after this ends, I'll go through and put the, um, the link to August. It is 50% off for the rest of this week, so you can get all of this, everything you've seen, for only two dollars okay for two dollars for the entire month of august and i'm working on finishing up the rest of the year so i also have september and october and i'm working on updating them so you have all of these resources every single month okay and i also wrote a blog post on this if you want to read more or see more in depth of what i'm doing you can go to my blog mrsdscorner.com and i'll also put a link in the comments and you can read more there about them there. So I hope you really enjoyed these four ways to write in your classroom. I hope you're as excited about it as I am. And I will see you guys soon. Have a great day.